you boil, I kill, no method. That tagline makes as much sense as anything else in this movie, i.e. none. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Albert Fish, and this is my review of Husband Killers. Husband Killers was written and directed, though I use those terms very loosely, by Fire Lee. He's the person responsible for Robbery, a film I dislike intensely, mostly because it was so obviously taken from a play, and it sucked. Watch that review, you'll see what I mean. Go ahead, I'll wait. I'm so cool and retro. No, actually, I'm just old. I remember that slug from watching movies when I was a kid. I wasn't trying to be cool, because trying to be cool never works. If you don't believe me, watch Husband Killers. To be fair, I'm not sure if this movie is trying to be cool or ironic, but I am sure that it's trying much too hard, and it fails at either one of them. Actually, it fails at everything else, too. All the action and gunplay is, is really terrible. It has no rhythms, and at times it's unintelligible. If you're trying to make an homage to, you know, good action movies, it would help if you had good action. Just thought you'd want to know. What are the odds that the titular philanderer, I saw them open for Marillion in 1983, has a wife and two girlfriends, and they all have luxury brands for names. But don't worry, they all get their own title cards when we first meet them. I know I probably shouldn't act like that, but neither should anyone else. Fire Lee isn't gay, but he is a flaming drama sexual. Everything in this movie is jazz hands. And please, let me be clear. I'm not expressing any dislike of gay people in any way whatsoever. I'm expressing a deep dislike, disdain, and disgust for theater people. Especially here in Hong Kong. Two words, Jim Chim. Two other words, f*** him. I don't know why theater people think that they can easily cross over into movies with their self-centered nonsense. So I don't think Fire Lee is gay, and if he is, it's none of my business. But one reason I thought so is because Husband Killers comes off as being written by someone with absolutely no idea what women are actually like. Strangely enough, it frequently comes off as, like, tiny times with guns and swear words. That's some sorry shit. But not as sorry as Fire Lee, or as sorry as he should be. And you know, I spent a long time trying to think up a Tiny Times joke, and I just couldn't. Now, Wong Jing is occasionally guilty of misogyny, but it's usually just juvenile. Which is not to excuse it, but believe it or not, his objectifying and exploiting women is, by comparison, harmless. Husband Killers is just mean. It's creepy. As I said after watching it, it's nothing new to feel insulted after leaving a cinema. Believe me, I go through that a lot. But I felt ashamed for watching this movie. And I even felt degraded. And I'm me! That said, you know, even I have my limits, but Husband Killer just pissed all over them. It's not sexually exploitative of its cast. These women remain clothed, although underdressed, for the whole movie. But the violence and degradation inflicted on them in the course of the movie is just wrong. I honestly did feel guilty sitting through it. I mean, it's it's not lighthearted, it's not funny, it, there's no reason for it, it's just cruel. It doesn't serve any narrative purpose whatsoever. It's just there because it can be. Husband Killers might be called Tarantino-esque only because of its gleeful adolescent attempts at shock and the way it meretriciously basks in its own wrongness. It's, it's almost fascinating how offensive this movie is. It forces you to wallow in garbage for absolutely no reason except for the director to say, look what I did. Newsflash, doing things just because you can isn't a reason, it's a justification. It's also an attempt at self-aggrandizing that serves only to make you look like a sick f this movie is especially tone-deaf, considering what's happening in Hollywood recently. Face it, this is a really bad time to try to make comedy out of sexual violence against women. Maybe it's funny to somebody, but not me, and thank God for that. I should also point out that I'm not mad at anybody in the movie, just the person that wrote and 
directed it. How bad is the direction? At one point, Chrissy and Steffi are having a conversation via WhatsApp. We see and hear Steffi say something and then send it. Then we see and hear Chrissy hearing the exact same message. Then she sends one. Then we see and hear Steffi listening to that message for the whole scene. It's not postmodern or ironic or funny. It's and tedious. But that could be said about, you know, the entire movie from the opening scene. I mean, after an hour, this film already just felt way too long. And then when you realize the first ending is fake, it's, it's just infuriating. Kind of like, you know, the rest of the movie. It's kind of sad to have to say that the only thing done well in this movie is the misogyny, and that's just wrong. If I had to say something nice about this movie. Well, if not for husband killers, I never would have stumbled on Revenge on My Husband Killers. Sick. A Nigerian action movie. To tell the truth, this movie looks like a hell of a lot more fun, doesn't it? I usually try to be, you know, funny and lighthearted and irreverent and all that other stuff, and I, I try not to get too serious about things. But, you know, this movie really did bother me, and it's one reason it's taken me this long to write the review, because every time I think about it, it just makes me angry. I admit, you know, I'm, I'm a piece of shit. I, I enjoy seeing um, women in very small amounts of clothing, or no clothing at all, in movies. And I probably shouldn't, and I know that I shouldn't, just like I know that I shouldn't enjoy Wong Jing movies as much as I do for the bikinis, etc. But that doesn't mean that I'll put up with anything, and I don't think it makes it okay to, to just do the things that, that I've seen in this movie. And it bothers me, and I'm ashamed and embarrassed that I watched it. So I can't really recommend that you watch it either. Um, I don't want to update the description with a link where you could buy it. I really don't. So I don't think I'm going to, because this movie is disgusting. But with any luck, since it's apparently not doing well in the box office, maybe people will send Fire Lee back to the theater where he belongs. People don't like to go to theater because it's expensive. And the only reason I'm saying that is because it allows me to talk about money and then ask you for money via my Patreon page, because I really need the money, because I have to sometimes pay to watch movies like this that end up having me spend money on anti-anxiety medications, and, and so I, I need the money. I, I didn't really spend it on anti-anxiety, but you see my point. Please just click on the link. If you enjoyed this review, please let me know, and if you didn't, eh, I guess you could let me know. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.